All right, it's day 23 of this series. It's been two days since I first saw some sprouts. And that second needle coming out is folded. I've been calling these needles, but they're not really needles. I mean, get another look later, but you have the same thing going on there with the second one coming out. These things are basically like folded up blades of grass, as you can see. Like a little canoe over there that's very green. Um, not quite as succulent as I had suspected. So we'll see how this goes after a few more days. All right, it's day 27 of this Joshua tree series. As you can see, these leaves are much bigger. They're maybe uh, three centimeters plus for this one. And that one's maybe just two centimeters. And, you know, this other stuff that's sticking out, it's having a hard time popping out. So I don't know what that is yet. But uh, the ground's looking a little parched. It's finally a sunny day. We've had a lot of days of May gray. So I'm going to pour some water in there and ameliorate the situation. And hopefully that will cause other seeds to germinate. But if not, it'll at least ensure that these don't dry out. Since the roots are probably still very underdeveloped and shallow. All right, I just put this pot back on my balcony floor and I watered, that caused shifting, and I see that there's another shoot. So we have at least three out of 15 germinating. I suppose I could spray water, but you know, that doesn't seem to help flatten things out either. So I hope, you know, this pouring of water doesn't destroy some seedlings by turning them upside down. Because if they've already started growing upwards due to gravitropism, that would be really bad. It'd take a really long time for them to recover. Alright, it's day 31 of this Joshua Tree series. We do have progress, but, you know, we still have this thing where it's sort of like, you know, bean sprout or whatever, just barely coming out of the soil. Not quite sure what the deal is with that you know, hairpin loop that never goes away. You know, we got that for all three of these. And I don't know how long it's going to take for whatever that curl is to pop out. So it's been 10 days since the last update. And it's still like this. They're just like described, uh, blades of grass. So um, not quite what I pictured Joshua trees would look like early on. But that's what makes this series so interesting. So this third sprout in the center has the most enviable positioning in the pot, but as you can see, these first two movers are way bigger in development, if not just for only the cotyledon or whatever. You know, I don't know what are true leaves now and what aren't at this stage, but I would think that these two first movers will take over the pot just due to having that first mover advantage. It's day 34 of this Joshua Tree growing series. As you can see that third shoot in the middle, it's got that pronounced hairpin structure and it comes out of a sleeve that kind of runs diagonally out of the soil. But you can see for, you know, that, that one over there on the left, a uh, new leaf is coming out between the hairpin and the existing leaf, which looks like a, folded up blade of grass or a furled blade of grass and this second one that I'm looking at in the center here it hasn't had that level of development yet nor is it as tall you know maybe that's uh 10 centimeters tall that's like seven or something like that so yeah not quite what I expected I just watered a little bit this soil always seems dry being in such a small pot and in this just having Southern California afternoon sun dries everything out and makes the pot feel really lightweight. So I'm going to water a little bit more. I 
I mean, I'm probably shifting stuff around, but I, I think these Joshua trees can handle it.